Today we're going to learn how to set up files for a Suma Cutter workflow driven by an Onyx RIP. For the purposes of this video, we're assuming that the Cutter and RIP have already been correctly installed and configured. If you need help with installation or configuration, other videos are available detailing those processes. Today we'll be looking at the existing Onyx configuration to get some information, setting up files to use that configuration, then sending files through the workflow. To do this, we need a file to cut, we need an illustration program, either Illustrator or Corel Draw, and we need the Onyx RIP. So to start, let's open the Onyx RIP. When your cutter was installed, they should have created a quick set in Onyx to use it. So the first thing we're going to do is click Edit Quick Sets. You may have one named specifically for the cutter, or you may only have the default quick set. If you only have the default, you can look in there. In this case, we have one called Suma Cutter, so we're going to edit that one. What we're looking for in here is the cutter path prefix. This is a text string used by Onyx to recognize spot colors in files that designate cut paths. Onyx needs to be able to recognize them and pull them out for use by the cutter. So, Cut Contour, with capital C's, everything else lowercase, is in this case our Cut Path prefix. That's all we needed to know from the Quick Set. Next, we're going to open Cut Server. When your cutter was installed, it should have been set up in Onyx. You should have a window on the left-hand side named for your cutter. Find that window and click on the gear icon in the top right hand corner. In this window, we are looking for the cut layer names. The first one in the list should be your kiss cut. This one is called cut contour. Remember the cut path prefix. There it is. So this is cut contour underscore kiss. The second one in the list should be your perf cuts, or to use Suma's terminology, your flex cuts. This one is called, again with the cut path prefix, underscore flex. You're going to need to know those names for your workflow. As you'll see in a moment, once you get into Illustrator with your files, you'll need those names to set your files up properly. Now let's minimize the rip and open our file. So here's our cut file. And it looks like whoever set this file up intends for the mushrooms to be kiss cut and intends for them also to be perf cut out in squares so that they're nice and neat. They've done a couple of things wrong though. If you recall, the colors have to start with the cut path prefix or Onyx will not recognize them. So we are going to double click the swatch that says cut and we are going to rename it cut contour to match our cut path prefix underscore kiss to exactly match the layer name that we saw in cut server. The other change that needs to be made is this has to be a spot color. If it's not a spot color, Onyx has no way of pulling it out of the file. We also have a color called perf. So let's look at that. This also needs to be named cut contour. And if you recall, the name for the perfs is cut contour flex. This also needs to be a spot color. So that has our colors correct so that everything will be recognized properly. One other change that we can make while we're in here is the size of the cut paths. If these cut path lines have a stroke that's too thick, the cutter will try and cut them twice. So I am going to select everything that has the same stroke color. So I should get all of my kiss cuts. 
and I'm going to change the weight to 0 0.1 points. And I'm going to select a flex cut, do the same thing. Select same stroke color and change the weight to 0 0.1 points. That will ensure that we get only one cut for each of the cut lines. Save our file. And exit. Now we go back to the rip. Click open. Find the file. Make sure we're using our cutter quick set and open it. Always check to make sure that the contour cutter is selected. You can click Preview Cut Path on and off to make sure that it sees the cut paths you were expecting. Remember to apply. And submit. Depending on your workflow, you will either send the job from within cut server and start the cut manually or you will read the barcode at the printer and the job will start automatically in either case the kiss cut should be recognized and cut as kiss cuts and the perfs should be recognized and cut as perfs